Elizabeth II's four children have given her eight grandchildren. While her children were the first generation of royals to have their lives laid bare for public scrutiny, her grandchildren grew up in the limelight and in many ways have a better handle on it. The Queen's children and their scandals nearly brought about the downfall of the monarchy. But the next generation has brought a resurgence in its popularity as young royals aim to position themselves as more genuine and down-to-earth, despite having a monarch for a grandmummy. Let's take a look at the mostly charmed lives of the eight royal grandchildren of Queen Elizabeth II. The Children of Charles, Prince of Wales Charles, heir to the throne, married Lady Diana Spencer in 1981. Diana wanted her sons to have a more normal childhood than royal children of the past. William and Harry were educated at school beginning in kindergarten rather than at the palace by tutors. Diana took them to Walt Disney World and McDonald's and to AIDS clinics and shelters for the homeless. Charles and Diana's marriage fell apart when the boys were 10 and 8, but both were dedicated to being good parents. In 1997, Diana was killed in a crash in Paris when her car was chased by paparazzi. Both of her teenage sons held a lot of anger for the press, who had dogged their mother to her death, and wouldn't leave them alone either. Prince William, Duke of Cambridge William was born on June 21, 1982, at St. Mary's Hospital, a break with the tradition of royals being delivered in the palace. Rather than sending his son to Gordonston School, which he had hated, Charles sent him to Diana's family's alma mater, Eton College, an elite boys' boarding school founded in 1440 by King Henry VI. There, William played water polo and captained his house team. In order to protect young William from constant scrutiny, the royal family made a deal that the media would allow the prince to study free from intrusion in exchange for regular updates on his life. After school, William took a gap year, during which he lived in Chile and taught children. There he took his turn to scrub the shared bathroom and volunteered as a disc jockey at the local radio station. At 19, he enrolled at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland, where he studied art history and continued to play water polo. He began dating Kate Middleton, a fellow student and one of his flatmates, who first caught his eye while walking the runway in a charity fashion show. After university, William followed in the long royal tradition and pursued a career in the military. He attended the Royal Academy at Sandhurst and served as a search and rescue helicopter pilot in the Royal Air Force. The prince proposed to Kate Middleton while on holiday in Kenya. The couple wed on April 29, 2011 at Westminster Abbey, the traditional venue for royal weddings dating back to King Henry I of England's wedding to Matilda of Scotland in 1100. The star-studded event was watched by 300 million people worldwide. Kate wore a lace dress designed by Sarah Burton at Alexander McQueen. Her new grandmother-in-law lent her the Cartier Scroll Tiara, made in 1936 as a gift to Queen Elizabeth Bowes Lyon from her husband, King George VI. William and Kate were created Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. After the wedding, the newlyweds lived a quiet and normal life on the Isle of Anglesey in Wales, where William was based as an RAF pilot. In 2013, prior to the birth of their first child, a new Succession to the Crown Act removed the old rule of male primogeniture, which put male siblings ahead of female. Therefore, whatever the gender their child turned out to be, it would be next in line to the throne after William. Kate delivered a son, George, on July 22, 2013. A daughter, Charlotte, followed on May 2, 2015. In July 2017, William retired from his career as a helicopter pilot in order to focus on his numerous royal duties and his patronship of 30 charitable causes. On April 23, 2018, William and Kate welcomed a third child, Louis. William is second in the line of succession, and if all goes according to plan, he will one day be King William V. His son George is third in line and will likely one day be King George VII. Charlotte and Louis are fourth and fifth in line, respectively. Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex Prince Henry Charles Albert David, 
better known as Harry, was born on September 15, 1984. In childhood, Prince Charles had been left behind when his parents traveled for royal engagements. But William and Harry remained with their parents. Harry's first overseas trip was to Italy when he was less than a year old. When Harry's mother was killed, he was pushed by his grandfather, Prince Philip, to walk behind his mother's coffin. The event, played out before the eyes of the world, traumatized the 12-year-old. Harry had a difficult time dealing with his mother's death and constant surveillance from the press as he got up to the typical teenage antics of partying and dating and the less typical antics of wearing a Nazi uniform. He later made public that he sought counseling to deal with these issues. Harry followed his brother to Eton where he excelled in polo and rugby, but not in academics. One of his teachers told the press that the staff helped the prince cheat on exams. During his gap year, Harry worked with orphan children in Lesotho and produced a documentary, The Forgotten Kingdom. Harry attended the Royal Military Academy at Sandhurst. In 2007, his unit was deployed in Iraq. The British government debated keeping the prince at home and out of harm's way, but Harry was adamant that he be allowed to serve in the war, stating, there's no way I'm going to sit on my arse back home while my boys are fighting for their country. In the end, it was decided that as a valuable target, the prince's presence at the front would put his fellow soldiers at risk, and he was kept home. But he was secretly deployed to Afghanistan, where he and his unit repelled an attack from Taliban insurgents. Next, he trained as an Apache helicopter pilot and was again deployed to Afghanistan, where the Taliban threatened to kill or kidnap the prince at any cost. After this threat, Harry returned to London to work in Army headquarters. In 2014, he launched the Invictus Games, a Paralympic-style event for injured servicemen and women. He is involved in several other organizations to support the members of the armed forces. In 2015, Harry retired from the military. He holds the rank of captain, and while his brother outranks him in the line of succession, William is only a lieutenant and has to salute his younger brother. Harry dated Zimbabwean businesswoman Chelsea Davey from 2004 to 2009. In 2016, a friend set him up with American actress Meghan Markle. On May 19, 2018, the couple were wed at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle. The ceremony was watched by even more viewers than tuned in for William's wedding seven years earlier, and was noted for nods to Meghan's African-American culture in addition to the traditional Anglican service. The Queen lent Meghan a diamond bow tiara made in 1932 for Queen Mary. Harry and Meghan were granted the titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex. On May 6, 2019, they welcomed a son, Archie. The constant hum of media attention Harry had faced all his life built to a roar once Meghan entered the picture. Negative, often racist coverage and invasions of their privacy led the couple to announce that they would officially step back from their roles as senior royals, become financially independent from the royal family, and split their time between the UK and North America. Harry is currently sixth in line to the throne, and his son Archie is seventh. The Children of Anne, Princess Royal Anne married fellow equestrian Mark Phillips in 1973. As a daughter, Anne was not entitled to a hereditary title upon her marriage. Her mother offered her one, but she declined as she hoped her children might live a more normal life. Anne and Mark welcomed two children, Zara and Peter. Twelve years into their marriage, Mark Phillips had a one-night stand with a woman in New Zealand, which produced a daughter named Felicity Wade. But Peter and Zara knew nothing about their half-sister until her mother sued for child support in 1991. The family has never been in contact with Felicity. In 1992, Princess Anne and Mark divorced, and Mark moved to a farmhouse on his wife's estate so that he could remain near his children. Both Anne and Mark remarried, and Mark had a second daughter, Stephanie, whom his royal children do have a relationship with. When baby Stephanie was in the hospital with meningitis, Peter, then 21, and Zara, 18, were at her bedside. Zara taught her sister how to ride, and Stephanie was a bridesmaid in both her siblings' weddings. Peter Phillips 
Peter was born on November 15, 1977, and was the first of Queen Elizabeth's grandchildren. His arrival was celebrated by a 41-gun salute on the Tower of London. At three, Peter got a little sister, Sara. Though they fought like typical siblings, they supported each other through their parents' divorce and remain very close. They attended boarding school together at Gordonston School in Scotland. Peter was very protective of his younger sister, and his friends kept the mischievous Zara out of trouble. Zara looked up to her big brother and described him as level-headed, calm, and grounded. During his gap year, Peter interned at Sports and Entertainment Limited in Australia and for Jackie Stewart's Formula One racing team. He then studied sports science at the University of Exeter, where he played rugby. After graduation, Peter began a career on the business side of Formula One racing, working for Jaguar, Williams Racing Team, and racing sponsor, the Royal Bank of Scotland. Peter dated an American cod liver oil heiress and a flight attendant. In 2003, he met Canadian management consultant Autumn Kelly at a Formula One race in Montreal. They became engaged in 2007, and Autumn, who had been raised Catholic, converted to Church of England. Had she remained Catholic, Peter would have lost his place in the line of succession, per the anti-Catholic 1701 Act of Settlement. Their wedding caused this rule to be repealed. The couple wed on May 17, 2008, at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. Princess Anne lent Autumn the festoon tiara, which she had received as a gift in 1973 after she christened a ship. Peter and Autumn moved to Hong Kong and then returned to Gloucestershire, England, where they share an 18th century manor, Gatcombe Park, with Peter's mother and sister. There they welcomed two daughters, Savannah, the Queen's first great-grandchild, born on April 23, 2011, and Isla, born March 29, 2012. Both children have dual citizenship with the UK and Canada. In 2012, Peter opened a UK branch of Sports and Entertainment Limited, the company he had worked for during his gap year in Australia. As Peter is not a working royal, he does not receive a taxpayer-funded allowance from the privy purse. But he has come under fire for trading on his royal position to earn money, particularly when he and Autumn were paid half a million pounds by Hello! magazine for an interview in the lead-up to their wedding, and when he appeared in a Chinese milk commercial in 2020. In February 2020, it was announced that Peter and his wife Autumn would be divorcing. Peter is currently 15th in the line of succession, followed by his daughters, Savannah and Isla, who are 16th and 17th, respectively. Zara Phillips Tyndall Zara was born on May 15, 1981. Her name means Bride as Dawn in Greek, and is a nod to the heritage of her maternal grandfather, Prince Philip, who comes from the Greek and Danish royal family. Zara was athletic from a young age and enjoyed hockey and gymnastics at school. She followed her big brother to Gordonston School and the University of Exeter and qualified as a physiotherapist. Zara is cheerful, outgoing, and unpretentious. She is described as the life of the party. At 18, she scandalized her family by getting a tongue piercing. At 24, she traveled to Australia to watch England win the Rugby World Cup. There she met English player Mark Tyndall, and the pair began a relationship. Like her parents, Zara has a great love for horses and is a skilled equestrian. She has won multiple medals at the European Eventing Championships and FEI World Equestrian Games. She was set to compete in the 2004 and 2008 Olympic Games, but both times her horse, Toy Town, suffered injuries and she was forced to withdraw. She was appointed a member of the Order of the British Empire for her equestrian career, and in 2010, she was voted BBC Sports Personality of the Year, as her mother had been four decades earlier. In May 2011, Zara and Mike Tyndall announced their engagement and threw a party on the Royal Yacht Britannia to celebrate. They were married on July 30th at the Cannon Gate Kirk in Edinburgh, Scotland. Their reception was held at Holyrood Palace. Zara wore an off-the-rack ivory silk dress. She was lent the Meander Tiara, which Queen Elizabeth received as a wedding present from her mother-in-law, Princess Alice of Greece and Denmark. It features a classical Greek key pattern. 
In the 2012 London Olympic Games, Zara won silver in the team event. Her mother, Princess Anne, presented her medal. On January 17, 2014, Zara gave birth to a daughter, Mia. Later that year, Mike retired from playing professional rugby. Mike underwent surgery to correct his nose, which had been broken at least eight times during his rugby career. Zara suffered two miscarriages before the birth of their second daughter, Lena, on June 18, 2018. The family live a relatively private and low-key life on their country estate. They enjoy horseback riding, biking, and many other athletic activities on the 730-acre property and often participate in sporting events to raise money for charity. Zara is currently 18th in the line of succession, followed by her daughters, Mia and Lena, who are 19th and 20th. The Children of Prince Andrew Prince Andrew married Sarah Ferguson in 1986. They have two daughters, Beatrice, who is more serious and reserved, and Eugenie, the fun-loving extrovert. Despite their differences, the sisters have always been very close. Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson divorced when their daughters were eight and six, but they remained amicable, agreed to joint custody, and lived near each other and even traveled together for the benefit of their children. Eugenie described them as the best divorced couple she knew. Princess Beatrice Beatrice was born on August 8, 1988. She inherited her mother's auburn tresses. Her name was considered a surprising choice, though she shares it with Queen Victoria's youngest daughter. Beatrice was diagnosed with dyslexia at age 7. It wasn't until she began the Harry Potter series that she learned to love reading. At school, she was a member of the choir and was elected head girl. The princess celebrated her 18th birthday with a masked ball at Windsor Castle. That year, her cousin William introduced her to businessman Dave Clark, and the couple dated for the next decade. After school, Beatrice worked as a sales assistant at the high-end London department store Selfridges and in the British Foreign Office. Both jobs were unpaid. She had a small, non-speaking role in the 2009 film The Young Victoria about her great-great-great-great-grandmother. While at university, she made friends and tried to stay low-key, though she did forego the dorms to live at St. James Palace. Beatrice went on to earn a BA in history from Goldsmiths College, London. She worked as a production intern at Sony's London office, but resigned amid the company's 2014 hacking debacle. She is currently the VP of Partnerships and Strategy at software company Affinity. Beatrice has a passion for avant-garde fashion. She is frequently seen at fashion events and has become a bit notorious for her eye-catching hats. The highly lambasted fascinator she wore to her cousin Prince William's wedding sold for £81,000 on eBay to benefit UNICEF and Children in Crisis. She enjoys running and ran the London Marathon in support of Children in Crisis. She is a founder of Big Change, an organization which encourages young people to seek skills outside of the academic, and she promotes anti-cyberbullying organization Be Cool Be Nice. In March 2019, Beatrice went public with her relationship with property developer Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi, the son of an Italian count and Olympic skier. The couple planned to wed on May 29, 2020 at St. James Palace, but their nuptials were thwarted by the outbreak of COVID-19. Instead, they tied the knot in a private ceremony at the Chapel Royal of All Saints, Royal Lodge, Windsor, on July 17. Beatrice wore the Queen Mary fringe tiara that her grandmother donned at her own wedding. Her grandmother also lent her a Norman Hartnell dress, which the Queen wore to several events in the 1960s. The gown was remodeled with sleeves and a slimmer skirt to fit a more modern style. Beatrice is now the stepmother to Eduardo's son, Christopher, who was born in 2016. Beatrice is currently ninth in the line of succession. Princess Eugenie Eugenie was born on March 23, 1990. At 12, she was diagnosed with scoliosis and underwent an eight-hour corrective surgery to place metal rods in her neck. 
She spent three days in the ICU and six days in a wheelchair, but made a full recovery. She went to boarding school and then studied art history at Newcastle University. At 23, she moved to New York City to work for an online art auction house. In 2015, she returned to London and began working at Hauser and Wirth Art Gallery. As minor royals, Beatrice and Eugenie do not receive an allowance from the privy purse and therefore have had to build their own careers. Though they do occasionally take on royal duties and public engagements, mostly to do with their charity work. Eugenie is involved in philanthropies including the Teenage Cancer Trust, Anti-Slavery International, and Project Zero, which aims to end plastic pollution. Eugenie became engaged to her boyfriend of seven years, British wine merchant Jack Brooksbank, while the couple were vacationing in Nicaragua. On October 12, 2018, she walked down the aisle of St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle, in a gown with a plunging back designed to show off her surgical scars. She wore the stunning Greville Emerald Kokoschnik tiara, which was made for Dame Margaret Greville in 1919 and later willed to the Queen Mum. Following the wedding, the couple moved into Ivy Cottage on the grounds of Kensington Palace. Eugenie is currently 10th in the line of succession. The Children of Prince Edward Edward married PR executive Sophie Rhys Jones in 1999. Sophie grew up in a middle-class family and has prioritized giving her children a relatively normal upbringing. Both of their children are entitled to use the title Prince and Princess and HRH, but their parents prefer that they be styled with the lower ranks of the children of an earl. Sophie has stated that they can decide for themselves when they turn 18 which titles they want to use. Lady Louise Windsor Louise was born prematurely on November 8, 2013, after her mother suffered a placental abruption and lost a great deal of blood. Louise was delivered by emergency C-section. Her father was not present as he was in Mauritius on an official royal visit. Mother and baby remained in hospital for several days following the birth. Louise was born with esotropia and underwent surgeries at the ages of 3 and 10 to correct her vision. At age 7, she was a bridesmaid to Kate Middleton when she married Prince William. At 12, she and her brother James went to South Africa with their parents on their first official overseas royal visit. Louise is a member of Girl Guiding, of which her grandmother is patron and her mother president. She began riding at a young age and rode beside her father at the Queen's 90th birthday celebration in 2016. She has also taken up carriage driving, popularized in the UK by her grandfather, Prince Philip, and has begun to participate competitively in the sport. Louise is currently 13th in the line of succession, behind her younger brother. The 2013 Succession to the Crown Act removed the old rule of male primogeniture, which put male siblings ahead of female, but it only applied to children born after October 28, 2011. James Viscount Severn James, the youngest of the Queen's grandchildren, was born on December 17, 2007. Like his sister, he was delivered by cesarean section, though his birth was not nearly as dramatic. He was the first royal baby to wear a replica of the christening gown worn by Queen Victoria's children. The gown has since been worn by most of his younger cousins at their baptisms. James holds the title of Viscount Severn, granted to him by his grandmother in a nod to his mother's Welsh background. The family live at Bagshot Park, a 17th century estate near Windsor, and James attends Eagle House School. Sophie and Edward strive to keep their children's lives as grounded and normal as possible for grandchildren of the Queen. They are a close-knit family and do a great many things together. James is currently 12th in the line of succession. A special thank you goes to my patrons, Steve Kosky and Brandy Rolston. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment your thoughts, and check out my other royal history videos. If you really want to help, please consider supporting me on Patreon. A link is in the description. Thank you for watching.